my name is Dr. Zahid Khan. Uh, let me just introduce about my education background. I did my Bachelor in Computer Science from University of Peshawar uh, in 2010. Later in 2015, I did my International Master from University of Nice, uh, France. And recently in 2019, I have finished my PhD from Institute of Mobile Communication, Southwest Jotan University. Uh, let me just uh, give a more brief about my PhD. So I was selected as a distinguished scholar in my PhD for highly reputed uh, journal publications. And during my PhD, uh, I was working under different projects uh, that was related to the Chinese government uh, NSFC project. And uh, most uh, specifically, I was working uh, with one project that was related to relativity, uh, reliability and connectivity of vehicle or ad hoc networks. All my PhD thesis and publications support that uh, grant project. And that was supporting by five different university and different times I have been to different cities for presentation uh, related to that uh, contributions. Uh, apart from my education background, I have also four year teaching experience in various universities, uh, including Sichuan Normal University, uh, where I was working as a visiting instructor in the summer schools. And meanwhile, along with the postdoctoral responsibility, I'm also teaching two programming courses in Prince Sultan University as well. What sparked your interest to research uh, this area? So uh, let me just uh, give you a short answer. The first thing is we call it Hawk Network. It's like a very hot topic in communication many challenges we have many open topics so that's why uh, it's attract me that we can find easily research problem we can easily solve that because there are many many open problems and in the case of intelligent transportation you know that uh, traffic is a very important fact you can see that it can uh, like highly traffic congestion can drag the economy of a country as well as that can drag your your blood pressure as well if you stuck in a heavy traffic jam yes. so that's why i want to find some solution for that so that will be a good contribution to the society as well okay uh, regarding the smart uh, traffic project yes was it applied in a uh, real life uh, uh, case? That's uh, quite nice questions. So uh, we have performed two different experiments. The one that I use a simulator, which is going to get the road traces uh, from the given map. And then we just generated random traffic and we evaluated and we monitor and we see that how the congestion can be avoided in that case. But in my last case, uh, the one paper that we have published, that was uh, we got some uh, real road uh, from the MAVE, which is here in Riyadh, that's uh, an intersection point. And in that case, we applied that on practical data. You said that you've done research in several countries, right? Yeah. Can you compare your experiences uh, hmm. between Prince Sultan, doing research in Prince Sultan and doing hmm. other... Uh, yeah, yeah I, I got your question, yes. So uh, from 2015, I was in France. Uh, so at that time, I was a very junior researcher. So I can say that there, most of the work was just like implementation. They were not appreciating at that level to publish. Then later in uh, China, there was a like pretty high competition about the publication. So I can say that there I found how we can write, how we can publish. But here in Prince Sultan, I noticed that we are just like not only focus on publication, we are also focusing on standards. We are following some rules. We are studying, we are uh, 
finding gaps then on the basis of that we are doing the research work uh, practical works and then we are moving towards the publication so i just noticed that here we are mostly not only focus on the the the, the quantity we are also focusing here on the quality as well so comparing with china since i mentioned that in france I, at that time i was a very junior uh, researcher and i just published uh, two or three conferences at that time so here in french sultan i noticed that we have to do we have to do some experimental work and we have to show some novelty on the basis of the experiments and then we will go for publications but apart from some previous experience there was just write publish so that was my experience it's nice to hear that you've done a lot of amazing projects mm -hmm. and i could only wonder what's what you have planned next uh, so can you tell me more about what you have okay so uh, uh, in the near future we are planning for one another project it's also related to the uh, smart flow it's related to the transportation we will use the gam theory for that that uh, we will get the data from the real roads here uh, we, we are going to focus some more uh, like congested intersection points okay we will get data and we will apply the gun theory on that and we will find an appropriate routes and we will suggest just that to the government that if they can put some alternate routes instead of using the traditional intersection point mm -hmm. so they can significantly uh, uh, enhance the existing traffic system uh, by reducing the traveling time by reducing the consumption of fuel etc so next project is related to the game theory application in transportation thank you very much dr zahid for sitting down with us for this interview you're welcome you're welcome okay, thank you so much mm -hmm.